As was foreseen by the sages, the might of the forces of Qin was irresistible. Following the fall of the ignoble kingdom of Han, the states of Zhao, Wei, and the once powerful Shu also succumbed. Now for the first time from north of the Great Yellow River to south of the wide Yangtze, all civilized people bow low to the tiger of Qin, King Zhen, son of Zhuang Shan of Qin. Our triumphant leader, to properly set himself above other mere kings and princes, has taken the befitting title of Shi Huangdi, or First Emperor. A glittering new capital is needed, and a grand palace for a noble emperor. An impressive new road, the Imperial Way, will be an excellent choice for the royal ward and upper-class neighborhoods. Our exalted emperor, no doubt, has many great projects in mind for his capital that he has not yet told us of. So do not squander the land and its resources. Right, welcome back to Emperor. We are building a capital city. So let's go and pause the game. We have a huge map available, which is quite cool because probably for the first time we can put a little bit more thought into how we want to build our city. We are here lo located in the middle of China, in Xianyang, which is close to modern day Xi'an. Maybe you have heard of this city. And yeah, pretty much we are in a united China. So that means that most of those cities should not be an issue, issue for us. Only the nomads, of course, who will probably not be too happy about our united China. So I've actually looked at the map before, and of course I've played this many times, and I have an idea how I want to build this. Because modern day Xi'an has a very famous wall around the city, I do want to build some fortifications around the wall, around the city as well, which we might do as soon as we know our layout. And because we are going to need a big population, also because we already know we are coming back to this map and we are going to build a big monument or two big monuments here. After we come back, we do want a um, lot of workers available. So let's quickly check the feng shui around here. And I do want two parallel blocks next to each other. The only thing I must consider is that, of course, I need good feng shui for our inspectors and watchtowers. So if I do it like this, it should be fine. Probably the first row of houses in this block here will not be so good. So what I can do is actually use the grand way and on this side I can put it on top of the road and on this side I can put it inverse. So that means if I put down those houses, they actually will be in a good area for good feng shui. Whereas on this side, um, it's inversed and it will still look very symmetrical. So let's put down the inspector on both sides. And what I also want to do is factor in a administrative city inside of our housing block, something a lot, uh, like this. So let's quickly check where it can go. I think here will be fine. And then we can come down like this. And then we can put in all the other services in between, which will give us a very nice and symmetrical look our housing block and on this side we also have rocks which means those will help us to put down an inspector that will cover the markets and the mill so let's build up our block we're gonna do two parallel blocks of our traditional three by nine so one two three four five six seven eight nine should be correct, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Just to make sure. And then come down like this. We do have a big starting font, or we do have big starting fonts, which is also 
nice because that means we can build a big city without worrying about money too much. We can also produce a lot of valuable stuff, stuff like lacquerware. No, we can actually not produce lacquerware, only rose silk. And to produce lacquerware, we must import. But we might just do that. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And do the same thing on this side, like this. This will also give good desirability for the others um, services so that maybe these towers will evolve now what we need to do is consider an entry or an entrance for our markets so i am going to put down the market squares like this on a later must be a little bit careful about the Feng Shui, because of course we want 100% good Feng Shui, and I think that should be fine like this. So we already planned for that, because we do want, let's do gray wall. For once, I rarely use the gray wall. So what we also need, of course, is a well, and we hope that we can evolve those. So I'm actually going to put in also some desirable things for example these statues and then put in the wells and then maybe put in some pavilions to make those evolve then we need herbalist acupuncturist i think we can also put in here and what else do we need uh ancestral shrine those I think we can put this side or actually let's put the ancestral shrine on the inside it will also provide some good desirability because those houses here in the middle always struggle a little bit to evolve further we do want some Taoist shrines because whoops that's not good now we somehow have it um, equal, maybe like this. You must relax. We do want to have nice symmetry, although I'm, I realize, of course, this is uh, shifted by one pile, but that's just because we do need to build it like this because of the feng shui. And then we can immediately also tax people, but I'm gonna wait a little bit just because we don't have any wood in the beginning anyways. And then, of course, we do want more houses. And we, yes, just making sure that we can go symmetrical like this. Very nice. And then we still have some space here if we need to put down something else. Let's do a nice row of gardens down the middle and one next to those houses here. And then because we use two different markets, of course, we can also evolve those at a different pace, so to say. Right, so I am going to run the game. Let's see how fast people move in. That's fine. And have some people move in. I do not want to make the mistake anymore that I'm building the mill in the beginning and then everything falls apart or catches fire. So we are going to have some people move in before we um, continue building. Now, of course, because we are a united China, we have many allies, although Shu will not stay a vassal for long, but that's fine. So people are coming in. Hopefully nothing is falling apart. Let me check. Yeah, as you can see, Shu rebels and the inspectors are going out. More allies, that means we can Im immediately start producing resources and trade with other people or other cities. So these inspectors are trolling, that means we can plan for our markets. 
I am going to leave a one tile gap in between the market square and this, just because then we can put in the wall a little bit easier. Then we will need also to come out by two, like this, or by three, and then connect this to those rocks here, so that we can have a inspector on this side. Now let's see where we can put in the warehouse. Warehouse must go here because of feng shui. And we also want our mill. There you go. Um, we do want it a little bit centralized so both markets can access this very easily. And then I do want to farm on this land over here because we do have a perfect water table for this. Let me quickly see if we can get any information. No. Uh, where does, does it say when the crops grow? can't remember, but it's fine. We are just going to finish setting up this by putting down these things here. And now, of course, I did already make a mistake because first the inspector has to walk a little bit around like this because we do want him to touch this market so this market square doesn't fall apart. But that means this must be closed for everyone. This will be open for market employees and this one will be open for building inspectors. So he actually goes in and touches the market. Now, do we want to factor in some fancy rod? Maybe we can like this and like this, just to make this housing area even more desirable and then have a gray wall just um, like this so the bad desirability doesn't go into our housing block and then leave a two tile gap uh, like this, two tile gap in between the fence or the wall and our housing area so we can put in a little bit more gardens. That's perfect. So let's see what else we need. Of course, we do want to earn some money right from the get-go and also produce a lot of food. I am planning to putting down the um, elite housing area on this side and then have the monument up here and then wall the entire thing in so we have a nice and com uh, compact block as i've mentioned before that actually looks like a city and not have different kind of blocks spread all over the map so we do want to come out with a road like this and build some farms of course, we need to roadblock this off, and then also we might want to do some fishing, but fishing will be a bit tricky because the river is quite far away from our housing area. So maybe actually we are going to start farming first. So farmhouse, we do want, uh, yeah, we can just actually, actually farm from around here so one two three four and we're gonna build two farms right in the beginning of course always roadblock them off and then let's quickly put down one of each of these fields because i quickly want to see the seasons so this has already started July, this begins in July, and this begins in May. So, yeah, we can just do equal fields, things should be fine. So we do soybean, like this, 
three stripes, then millet, three stripes, not like this, but it's fine. Of course, it's a little bit of a waste of money, but we should be making money soon, so we have more allies, that's also good. And then, can we, or is this too close? Come out here and farm on this side as well. Maybe let's try. One, two, three. Yes, this should be fine. Like this. And like this. Two hemp farms immediately as well. Although hemp, of course, we are going to pause because we are going to miss the season anyways, like this. And then we will irrigate those fields with a irrigation pump. Have connection, rock block everything also from here. And then draw in some irrigation ditches. And this can just irrigate all of those fields. I do probably want to shift this road one over, just so we have maximum efficiency. And then the same thing, tree in the way, of course. Same thing goes for our road on the bottom. This, yes, and then Drop lock here, and then here, just come out by this, delete all of this stuff, just to make it as efficient as possible, like this, and then like this back up, this is connected, drop lock here, drop lock here, and then our irrigation can come out all around like this. Now this will be fine and then we can also start an industry around here to sell some silk, which means of course we also want to produce some silk. So let's set this up. So one, two, three, then one, two, three, four, one, two, three. I'm always counting so I can leave some space in between for irrigation. And of course, do like this. Draw in the irrigation ditches. This and then roll block everything. And then here we can later on have a inspector that will start from here and then cover this road where we can put some um, industry to sell stuff. So now we of course need many workers for all of our farming. So let's have people move in. And I think this year we're also not going to produce any silk just to maybe hopefully produce some food. Now, is this inspector actually doing what we want him to? Let's quickly check. He should walk around this. Yes, that's looking very nice. And then does he go in too? Oops, he doesn't. So probably our market square is not so happy. Yes, so we do need to make him walk like this and we can put a roadblock here hopefully he will be back before this collapses let's see everything else seems to be doing fine before i forget let's send out a spy to sabotage the nomads because we do not want them to visit them or we don't want them to visit us with a full force military. Now, does he 
cover this. Yes, now this is perfect. This side, I think we are going to try to evolve a little bit. So we have actually two inspectors and two watchtowers walking around. And we are in pretty good shape, I think. We just wait for people to come in. What we can also do is... Oh, we're harvesting some food, which is also great. Industry... Doing very nice. Actually, for the moment, I think government should be taking the hit. Some food coming in. That means we can feed our people, or maybe one of those blocks soon. So let's do or finish this. Looks nice and compact. So let's quickly take a look on to our trade routes. Um, they sell iron and they buy lacquer weapons, lacquer. So I'm looking for someone that buys a lot of silk. So Linz definitely should be around here to then buy our silk that we want to produce. Then someone who sells iron and doesn't really buy anything that we are interested in might be um, because I'm thinking I want to produce some weapons, right? Because we do want the military pretty soon. So I'm thinking how I can do this pretty much. It's November next year. We want to activate all of our farms after people have moved in and actually we do not need this uh, wall at the moment or ever because the bats our ability cannot go into our city we are having some unemployment which is great 500 people we have two types of food actually which is great and wheat can also come in so uh, we can definitely already feed one block and we are going to just offer plant food so that will even give us more workers and with this unemployment of course we are going to first deactivate or reactivate our farms and then with the rest of course we're going to start our industry so this must come down like this and a roadblock here and then we can put down some weavers let's first oh linz is actually a water trade route which is a little bit annoying because i wanted to sell a lot of silk to them That means let's clear off some of these trees here and see where we can put the trading key around here. So actually, let me think about a industry area around here like this and then connect up like this for the moment. And then we can hopefully, because they also buy ceramics, have the weavers on this side, yes. And we have two irrigated mulberry farms, so that's at least five, three, four, five weavers. Long show is perfect. Then these rocks we can use for an inspector and then have one clay pit and two kilns 
who sell ceramics and silk. Of course, this is going to take some workers. Let's sh make sure that at the moment our priorities are set correctly, which means agriculture. No festival, yes, that's fine. And one block has been fed, so we still can house 300 more people. Let me quickly save the game so that we are safe. I think I also want to um, start a military as soon as possible. So let's quickly check who buy, uh, sells iron. Onshen and Anyi. Anyi also spice silk. Sells iron. 12. Does anyone sell more iron? 12 and 12? No, so that's fine. So I think what I can do is how is the feng shui for iron or weapons production? We can produce weapons around here. So why not? Have Anyi here, like this. Import some iron. Sell some silk if we can. Import some iron and then produce some weapons. One. And we somehow fit in. I move those two kilns over by one. Or let's start with a weaponsmith, two, three weaponsmith, and then two kilns. We were selling some ceramics to Lindsay, right? Then we do want to connect up like this, this road here, and put in our first infantry fort. And there is some good feng shui around here. If I delete some of those trees, does this make it better or worse? Worse, so let's leave those trees in and just have one board like this. And then we will slowly train up some troops while our city develops. On this side, I do want also something special because we have some rocks here and we do want to put in our palace here because I think that will look very cool for our palace to be incorporated nicely into our city. This is about go away like this and quickly pause and then build a road around a palace like this, delete this, have an inspector, hover, oh no, that was too fast, because I do want it to have some nice roads like this, and then have the grand way like this. So our palace really has a nice area and I'm thinking to put the monument right behind it like this so let's already put that down and this will look very cool in the end then of course now we need a inspector that will cover our palace that means we can immediately also put down a second infantry fort as soon as it registers and uh -huh, we do not have enough workers that's fine let's actually balance this a little bit and have the second fort there so some troops are going to be trained up for the moment let's not have our silk industry staffed because we don't have raw silk this should be set up 
correctly as well. For the moment, we are just going to do hemp here to give to our gods. And I think actually we should disconnect this for the moment because later on we do not want ceramics to circulate between here and here. Now our money has run a little bit low because of all my spending, but everything is pretty much set up. We have some ceramics in. We will have silk in our city soon. And yes, now we can have the weavers weave away. Oh, we actually do need a connection like this and then disconnect here. So the weavers can actually deliver the stuff. Weapons are going out, which is also good. And I think now that we have a full harvest, we can also provide plant foods to our second block. And what I would also think would be nice is to have one locking shed here store up a little bit of wood here uh, just maybe four units and then we can tax our people like this we of course need many more workers now we have a mint but we only have copper in these mountains there so we are just going to wait a little bit with our mint let's do a quick shortcut on this side so those guys can actually walk through and the incoming hemp we are going to give of course to our unhappy gods food has gone up so we should get many more workers let's give Great gift to Nua, great gift to Zhenlong and to Huang Di. Let's quickly check on the spy from time to time just so that we don't um, get a surprise attack. Now some silk has come in, which is great. Which means we should stay afloat with our money. Now we see a lot of silk pushers stand around, so let's try to increase the amount of silk we're actually producing and I think I'm going to try making a loop if we do it like this does our inspector actually walk around that would be very good because that means oh no it doesn't what if I cut this connection Will he walk around? Because if he did, that will mean we can fit silk weavers all along this road. Yes, I think that's perfect. So let's put in at least one more weaver later when we have workers. Soldiers coming in. Very nice. No festival, of course. We should also provide some entertainment and because um, we have some rocks here we must somehow squeeze the acrobats in there and maybe if we move this over we might just be able to do that yes very nice so later on we can put the acrobat school there and let's have the musicians here of course let's not forgive I forget that we need to give some Gifts to the gods. We have loads of hemp, which is good. We have three types of food. So depending on how many workers we need, we can start developing our stuff more. Why did those guys move out? I'm not sure. But money seems quite stable. I think we are going to just increase our silk production a little bit um, we will need to shift this one over though because of the irrigation uh, which I don't want to forget because it actually makes a big difference 
if you irrigate your fields or not. So let's put in another irrigation ditch like this. And then connect up like this. Don't like if they touch here and then it will look very ugly. So let's do three more weavers. Of course, we need more people, that's fine. Let's give another gift of hemp. And then we still have loads of hemp. So that's great, which means one block can immediately evolve to the next level. Which will give us the rest of the people we need. And with the rest of those people, we can... Oops, Nomads caught our spy. And we don't have money, so let's quickly wait until we can send another spy. Is this enough? Yes, so let's quickly sabotage the military, the nomads again. Because we constantly want to keep them at one shield. So, now of course, now I cannot send the spy to look how low their shields are, but this guy will probably make sure that they won't evolve. Now this is a shame it didn't evolve, despite having so much desirable things around there, but I think, okay. So let's plan ahead and see how we can build our elite housing area. But we will have to wait a little bit until we make some money. But yes, silk and ceramics should grow out. And this will immediately give us a huge amount of money. No problem. Very nice. What will this need? A road? Yes. So let's see what this needs. Wood and carpenters. We will need some rock feng shui to set up something, so let's do that, so this can slowly be built. So we want this, and then it said it needs wood and carpenters, so let's do the wood storage here for the moment, and then just have one or two wood cutters and one carpenter actually carpenter for the moment we can do alongside here because they do not need to be covered by um an inspector so this should start working and slowly be built and here, what happened? Plain food. Is plain food going out? Not yet. So we have to wait for one market lady to come out. We have loads of food actually, which is great. People expect less. Yes, that's also good to know. Gods. Still contented. Very nice. This is also looking very good this industry area lots of food also being stored up inside the farm which is also exactly what we want and this should yeah, so we pretty much just have to wait until one market lady walks out and grabs some food from here not like uh, there's not enough food there's also the third type coming in so actually let's See who will evolve first, first and do another hemp shop here because hemp definitely is also not a problem. We can give away so many gifts and they're just standing in line to collect the hemp or to put down the hemp. So people should be moving in. Let's actually make sure that our military is prioritized, just because I do want 
a strong military to keep the nomads out of our city for as long as possible. But as I said, now we have money, so let's see where we can put in our elite housing. So we do have some good feng shui on this side. So let's see how we can do this. I quickly need to count a little bit. Happy New Year, let's not celebrate as long as we're stabilizing our city, although our food supply looks very, very stable. We can just give away gifts galore to the gods. People are coming in. Money still producing plenty of silk and hence plenty of money. What I probably do want to do before I build my elite housing area is some kind of pottery production. And I think we can have one here. Because we have some rocks that we can make use of. So if I go or do something like this. Um, for an emissary, Huan Xian, sure. Wood, thank you very much. So if I build the roads one over. Don't worry, I'm very skilled. Um this should be good. Warehouse. Yes, so let's do a warehouse here that will exclusively accept ceramics. Then have some kilns. One, two, three, four, five. Have a inspector, and then for five kilns we need at least two clay pits. So let's do two clay pits. Of course, that's going to use up a lot of our workers again. But as we're evolving this, um, this should be no problem. Plain food should make its way out soon as well. Although, I didn't just um, market lady grab food for this area, I'm not sure, but it's fine. Money, still no problem, so while this all develops, let's go back to our lead housing project here. I do want to, of course, have a Imperial way, so let's put that down and then quickly pause and count what we want to do. So we do want elite housing and then always two gardens in between. So one, two, three, four, and then two gardens. So one, two, three, four, and then two gardens. And then one, two, three, four, and come out by here. And then on this side, one, two, three, four, two gardens. And then one, two, three, four, and loop around like this. This is our elite housing block. Although here I need to shift this one over because, of course, we also want the grand way on the inside. So let's do that and that. Like this. And then have the grand way like this and like this. And this should be good. Now we will need a market going out or being covered there. So let's just do an wall here and already, uh, let's see how many workers, yeah, let's wait. But I think that will be very nice indeed. So let's have our garden pattern. And this should let us... Did I miscount? 
Okay, let's shift over the expensive road by one. And then just check if now it's correct. Yes, now it's correct, okay. And Imperial Way, Grand Way, Grand Way. That's better. Garden, Garden. Is it now correct? Yes, so that's that will give us at least six elite housing, and then of course we can also put some on the outside if we need more. I think we can go for like 10, probably. So this has all evolved. You're short one employee, which will, of course, still have 500 people coming in. Whoa, okay. So we definitely, uh, at the moment, do not need to evolve our housing any longer or any further. So let's immediately work on our elite housing block. So we need an inspector. We need a herbalist. Oh, let's do the rock things first so this needs um confusion academy also needs something like this it's a shame i cannot rotate it it's fine and of course an ancestral shrine and go here then we need a herbalist and an acupuncturist what else Tax office, of course, and that should be fine. Yeah, and then, of course, we need a Grand Market Square here and an inspector that's going to cover this Market Square. And then on the other side, we are also going to put in a tan wall. Open the building inspectors, open the market employees. Let's quickly save the game here, just in case something goes wrong. Employees needed, how many? 15, okay. Spy still doing its magic. This is already functioning, so actually we will also need a warehouse here. And this warehouse, and we are going to have a separate mill here. This warehouse can already go out and get eight ceramics, eight hemp, and then we need eight, uh, maybe four lacquerware should be fine, or silk and get some wood as well so you get busy collecting all of this stuff and we do want to now define the edge of our city how is our monument doing we can also put in some of the newly acquired workers into our monument building of course this is still looking very nice. And I think we can also maybe check on the gods. Oh, he's contented, so let's. Oh, he. Foreign emissary. Panda, sure, thank you very much. Thought you were rebelling, but that's fine. Um, we do need some dirt guys. So let's clear up. Or clear some of these trees and put in a laborer camp here. And I have a second one. Sure can, okay. Happy New Year, let's celebrate and have those laborers get to work. We have hemp ceramics coming over. Very good. So we can also put down the shops. So foods, hemp, 
ceramics, silk, lacquerware, and we will wall in the city. So let's plan for a city wall. And I think here I will put down the city gate. Uh, what do we get? Bobby Bear, thanks. Speaking of nomads, still being sabotaged, that's very nice. City gate here. That means outside of this gate we can also maybe farm some food or do some fishing. Right, let's check on everything else. We're probably losing some money. Linzu, yes, sure, why not? That's all doing quite well. And then unemployment, also very nice. Always good to have unemployment. But let's actually see what else this monument needs. Play dirt stone, okay. So actually, let's set this to get or let's just fill in for clay and for stone which we probably will need to buy from somewhere and then of course we can increase the amount of wood we store store up and then we are going to need one mason skilled and one ceramist skilled and we can we those in up here. Everything else should develop nicely. I think it's time to put down our elite housing. What this, did this do with our ceramics? Not much. Hemp, not much. Very good. So, oh re right, entertainment we also need. So, can we squeeze acrobats here, if we delete those trees? Acrobats... Delete more trees. I think if I do it like this, the inspector should sometimes touch this. Yes, and then we can also have some entertainment there. And now we, of course, need to feed those people here. So we will put down some food industry on the outskirt of our city. So we do want to fish a little bit, but also farm some food. I think farmhouse can go here and then we can have some fishing keys around here fishing 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 three should be enough for the amount of people we have to feed there and let's do our traditional pattern one two and three, do all of that. Soybean, soybean, oh, that's millet, and then wheat. Let's do that. And then let's put down an irrigation pump here and irrigate those fields, and that should actually help us to produce quite a lot of food because those are irrigated. So now, how much money do we have? We can expand our wall a little bit. This, of course, needs appetizing food. So let's give them appetizing food as soon as it comes in. And then we need to store up some silk and some lacquerware somewhere. Now, who will sell lacquer? Shoe, huh, of course. So we need to 
pretty much be friendly with Shu. And I think we, that means we must go conquer them. So for the moment, we just need to bring over some silk, which probably is the easiest if I just produce some on this side of the map. So let's do that and just grow some silk here. For the silkworm sheds, one, two, three, and produce some silk. And then, as soon as we can produce lacquerware, we can actually just produce it close to or inside our elite housing area, which then will allow us to also sell it from. Can we sell silk to shoe? No. Okay. But we. Oh yeah, it's fine. My plan was to sell off some of the silk, but it's fine. So this can just accept. Or let's do six. But this should come along nicely. Some food is already coming in. So as soon as we have the third type of food, probably next year, we should be doing fine. I could also just connect up our mills for just a second so they bring over these foods because we have so much and then disconnect again probably should also roadblock this and then right now we can disconnect the two areas but whenever we need we can just connect those up and we actually have four types of food, which is great. So let's actually just go immediately for tasty food. We have appetizing food now, which is great. And then the next time she goes to grab some food, we should further evolve those houses. What do you need? Silk. All right. Okay. But we do need to wait until some silk is being produced, but at least the people will not move out because they get angry. So probably should check on our gods 14 months ago. So let's give some hemp a new one. Um, not really loving this getting wood thing. So let's also put down a logging shed, quickly accept this wood and then yeah, drop this back to four. And let's continue our wall. Of course, we cannot completely wall off the city because of the river. And in Emperor, the river does not stop invaders, but that's fine. At the moment, everything is looking okay. We just need silk to come in, but they are already producing the silk, so that's fine. Do we need more people? Yes, we do. So let's see what they need. Appetizing food. We can easily provide that. And we can also get over some ceramics. Like this. And provide some ceramics so this housing block will evolve. Who or what is taking the hit at the moment? Let's just... Yeah, Monument can wait a moment, I think. And then I think here we are also going to start building our city wall like this. Put in a gate. Oh, this guy just got stuck. Um, really? You really glitch out because of this. Okay, let's do that again. And have the gate. Now this should be fine. This inspector will only cover this up here, but it should be fine. Um, city wall. They need people or fighters in two months. So we are going to postpone that and we are going to do 
the following. We do only have two forts, which means if we send off both, probably we are going to get attacked. This is incredibly stocked up. Can I give silk out of a trading post? I can't, but I can give a big gift of ceramics. Because I'm thinking to only send off the god, which of course will... Um, he will not be able to hold off the invasion, but he will... Like, they will like us for that. Because the only real problem is if you don't send anything at all. And so arrives, perfect. So let's wait. Wan Xian. Oops, so send him off. Oh, I do need to send one, okay. There we go. And just to make sure nomads have another spy. I think at the moment, yes, I need some silk here. They're weaving away, which is great, so this should be good. Let's give another gift to him, just that he doesn't get too angry at us. He's exalted. Because of course only one fort will not be enough, even if the nomads attack with minimum strength. Now, of course, we also want to beautify this area a little bit. So let's do that. I think I'm going to incorporate a nice big area here. Like this. Of course, I'll clean up this. And then let's just connect up with this road there. Oh, actually, and this worked so good. I was not expecting this to be enough to hold off the invasion, but of course, I'm more than happy to help if it's so easy. And before we forget, we should always have a warehouse somewhere. And I put another one around here. Uh, this will not be covered. Maybe actually if I delete this. Because maybe we do get some free weapons. Maybe. We'll see. Because when you go conquer someone you get weapons. Maybe also if you uh, win a battle. So Silk has come in. So we finally have... Yeah, because weapons are of course already stockpiling up. So let's see where we can put in more forts. There goes one. And then let's clear off some trees to so maybe squeeze in one more. Perfect. And we have one more here. Nice. We're just going to put down some more forts. We train up some troops, victorious soldiers return. Always tell them to go home, very important, else they get demoralized. Now, what else did I want to do? Check on the gods. Hongdi is feeling a little bit neglected, so... Here, that's doing well. Food is completely fine on this side, only with one farm and three um, fishing piers, which is also great. Weapons. Did we get weapons? No. Okay, that's fine. Workers. Yes, we need a lot more workers. So, what do I need? Desirability. No problem. Happy New Year, let's not celebrate this year. And um, let's already put down some desirability here. And they also, of course, need appetizing food. So let's provide appetizing food and some ceramics. 
and let's see if that's enough. If it's not, we can always provide some acrobats, which we already prepared for, and that will be enough. Now, Palace is probably taking the hit. There's only 10 people working on it, but that's fine. We have loads of money, so I do want to continue my city wall a little bit. Of course, you don't need to do that, but I think it's a good look also because it's historically accurate to have this city wall. Nice. We will slowly go around our entire city for an emissary. Wood, thank you very much. Not that we need wood, but appreciate it. And of course here we're going to have a little bit of a problem because I don't really want my farms to be inside our city, but maybe we there's no other option. Right, can we sell more cell? Ani. That's the one we already put down, I think. Um, no more silk sales at the moment. Let's see if a big gift of cash will actually make Shu travel with us. But I think actually you have to give them half jades for them to like you, which we don't produce. So I think maybe that's just how it's going to be. Now we can squeeze in a couple more elite housing. I think for the moment we're just going to leave it as is. Because there's no real reason why we should do that. Now appetizing fruit is going out here. Which means these houses are all going to evolve and make space for the people we need and actually can tax a little bit more now we could also start reaching over and actually start using our mitt like this and then we need an inspector covering this mitt so that's just a small little thing we can do. This all is looking very nice. Food, very stable. We do have ports being trained up. We have so much iron actually that we could produce more weapons, but that means a new area, so why bother? thanks for the cash everyone loves me so do you want let's also do a mild tribute of lacquer actually because we do want to buy lacquer from them as soon as they are not rebelling anymore and then let's also ask them if they want to trade even though they are rebelling Maybe they will kill my emissary. In that case, we are just going to invade them as soon as we can. Now, we can put in more forts. Oops, that's not what I wanted. So at least one more here. And that needs a road as well. And do we need... Let's do some cavalry also. Um, maybe if we clear off some more trees, one or two cavalry forts would be great. And then now we need to build more stuff. And I'm thinking actually why not just build a wall around everything. So as soon as we have a little bit more money, we will build bigger roads. How are workers doing? Still, we need some workers, so I think I am going to fully 
evolve my houses by putting down the acrobats or acrobat ghoul. And if later on in the mission or in the time where we come back to the city, we need more people, I can always also just put in some uh, normal housing, for example, here and here and on this side as well. And Shu actually wants to trade with us, which is great news. So let's put in the trading depot with Shu. They can... What do we need? Wait, let me quickly check. Lacquerware makers. They want this. So let's do... Let's celebrate for once. We need only two lacquerware makers. And we are going to need one clay pin. No, wood. No clay pin needed here. And we, of course, will then need to try... Uh, what happened? Wait. Thank you for the wood, but what happened to... Oh, they're, again, not trading, so... That's very unfortunate. So they might be provoking a invasion from us because of course yeah we uh, need to buy this lacquer now what is this all about I think that's no problem they will are they actually not able to reach the monument? Okay, so let's break the wall until the monument is done. And then, yeah, okay. So let, we have to open this up. It makes no sense because this whole side was open, but maybe they need to take the most direct way. What I did want to do is store up some clay inside here. So let's do that immediately. Delete the clay pit after we have the clay we need. And there's still many people moving in. So actually, we did just get the employees needed message. That's all looking fine. Yeah, I think we now are just waiting for some military to evolve because we do want to go conquer Shu. Actually, we could get Sun Tzu down because he can also bless forts, I believe. And if he blessed our fort, maybe we can train up the troops a little bit faster because we don't really have anything more to do. Let's just quickly save just in case nothing goes wrong. Yeah. Do we want to sell some more stuff? I don't think so. It's pretty stable. We could put in one or two more houses down here. So let's do that. But maybe have a pavilion here. Will this collapse? Maybe let's just do that. Here we can do some statues. And maybe also up here no here. yes that's good some statues and then fill everything in with gardens and i think this looks very very beautiful for an emissary thank you for the wood let's just store that up down there and we have so much unemployment that now we can finally drop our wages and we can also drop the taxes because we don't need to annoy our people. Yeah. And yeah, let's try to get Dunzu down. He's exalted, so he will probably show up uh, soon. Uh, there's a kiln on fire, which is probably a work of a spy because yeah, this guy covers everything. Now we put in a watchtower. We can, so let's have a watchtower here. Maybe if a spy comes in, we can catch him before he sets our stuff on fire. Uh, Sun Tzu, where are you? 
I called for you, so please come down. Let's maybe give him some more wood. Um, this is all going well. This woodcutter actually has to supply quite a lot of stuff now. Let's move him over here and see if we can actually bless some of our forts. I'm not sure if it's him or if it's the Buddhist guy, but we can try anyways. These have also evolved, so our workers should be fine. Some more stuff. Bean curd. Yeah, we do not need bean curds, thank you. We are going to decline this offer and delete this. And I think actually the other reason... We need a Huanxian, so let's open trade with them quickly and import for stone. Actually, later we can. Oh, we can also sell weapons. So later we can actually move this to over somewhere and maybe sell some weapons if we need. But uh, maybe we just will not bother. Let's celebrate and maybe get a gift. A wild pig and ceramics. Sure, why not? That's fine. Where's the god? There he is. How is he feeling? Joyful, so let's see. He's interested in blessing my fort. Yes, so let's bless some more forts. There we go, and up here. And then maybe he wants some more stuff, and because we have so much wood, have some wood. And also bless this fort maybe, because that one doesn't have any... No, let's just bless all the forts. I think we can afford many gifts, so he will Maybe not leave us and go up there. And this, I think, will put weapons and train the soldiers faster. Na nice, thank you very much. Monty is feeling a little bit neglected, so let's put him back to contented. Those here, they are fully stocked, so let's just ignore them. They have... What does actually this? You should permit me to bless a fort so we can train our troops faster. Oh, okay. So it doesn't put weapons, but it trains troops faster, which is fine. So this has bought four, so we can put in four stone in there, and we can delete this again until we need it. We have fifty-four unemployed, which is quite impressive. Um, what else? Yeah, we just need to invade Shu. Now, let's save and try. Let's save and try and see if we can actually quell the rebellion. So let's do Sun Tzu. Actually, let's enlist Ying. Why not? And send out three forts and no wait before we do that let's make sure the nomads are being sabotaged with two military spies and as soon as we've sabotaged the nomads we are going to try to quell the rebellion so let's make sure that Sun Tzu is staying around just give him wood uh, what does this need afterwards? Dirt, right. Need it. So there's gonna be a second layer. Fine, I guess. Let me buy weapons somewhere. No, I already checked. Can't, but... Yeah, this whole weapons production thing is quite slow, so... I hope this will be enough, because... 
This will at least allow us to evolve our compounds here. Do her once. And maybe, because we're quite bored at the moment, let's build the wall on this side of the city. So let's leave some space for an eventual expansion. And then, where is our entrance to the city? It's here. So let's build a gate here. And then connect up with this wall here. Of course, there has to be a tree here. And, uh huh. The map ends there, so I have to do the ugly version like this. And then let's come over here. And then later on we can connect here. I think it should line up from here. And then if we have tons of unemployment, we can always also put some powers. So yeah, our spies have almost reached the nomads. Sunzu is still happy, but we want to keep him extra happy. So let's give him some ceramics. Also a resource that we have plenty. Maybe it even took it out of the trading post, which is completely fine. Mm. Because actually we have so much money, do we want to start producing ceramics and just fully concentrate on weapons? Although we can only import 12 iron anyway, so yeah, fine. Let's bless some more forts. In the meantime, train up those troops. There we go. Did it go faster? I'm not sure, but we hope it will. Does he still like us? He's happy? Fine. So bless all the forts and send... Let's give something to Nuwa, just so that she doesn't turn angry on us. Hemp still stable everywhere. So yeah, our spies are sabotaging, so let's head over to Shu and let's well the rebellion. Although now why can I not ask my allies? I'm not sure, but it's fine. I'm just going to send three forts and Sun Tzu. And before I do that, let's quickly save just in case something goes wrong. Are they not liking me so much anymore? I'm not sure. Anyways. You go fight. Have fun. Whoa, okay. Was that triggered by me leaving the city? I'm not sure. So let's actually produce more weapons and stop selling ceramics here. I think that's a better priority so let's do that let's just sell all of the ceramics and continue storing up or producing weapons and i can also import more iron so we will have a steady flow for our forts five months and so maybe we have a large gift of ceramics where did it take i'm not sure so, I think because we sabotage them, it should not be a problem, hopefully. So, and we did bless the forts before he left or before they left. So, hopefully, it's gonna be fine. It's always a little bit of danger when you go and wait someone. This is a spy. First one, I think, and we catch. So, yeah, silk and everything's doing fine. Rebellion, 
was not quelled. Okay, so we do need to send more forts. Maybe if we're lucky, actually, our soldiers are going to be home before we get invaded, which would be ideal. But as you can see, um, we did get some weapons. So now I do also need a warehouse on this side because I want to bring over those weapons. So let's let's quickly pause because I see a spy here. My cover is blown. I and quickly. can we get an inspector somewhere? There's another one. Oh no, that's the one I just My caught. Cover is blown. I'd better hide um, it quickly. This will not work, so let's move things around a little bit. If I put this here and put the inspector here, and then just move over this road a little bit and roadblock here and here. And this should get weapons. So all those weapons we stole from Shu when we attacked them at the Rebellion, we can of course give to our troops. That's why you always want at least one warehouse accepting weapons. Most of the time it's even worth to put more. So one month, defeated warriors return, Shu becomes angry, that's fine, we don't care. We kind of wish for them to attack are all the forts yes that's fine okay so we just make sure that Sunzu is actually sticking around because he will be useful to fight against the invasion of the nomads now let's just hope they don't invade from too far away. We could also bribe them. Do we want to bribe them? No, let's fight. And then all the troops over. It's a very small invasion. That should be no problem. Um, I cannot see anything, so let's see. Fight, please. And we, in, yeah, that was no problem. Everyone can go home. Thank you very much. I think from now on. Oh no, that was since okay. You go over there, and we are just going to train up some more troops, and then we will go invade Shu again. Or maybe actually they will come invade us and then we can just slaughter them and they will um, immediately become our vassal again. Depending on our mood, I think it should be good. Now this is still slowly coming along. The fighting music is still on, but it's he's contented, so let's... Give him some more wood and have him bless Fort to come back. And I keep pressing the wrong button, so annoying. This is uh I just saw a spy. Where are you going? Aye. My cover is blown. I'd better hide and quickly. Problem with the soldiers leaving the fort is that they will flee or just not be a, go at, go home alone is what I mean and that will uh, mean that they will get demoralized. Finally I could finish my sentence and who also wants some blessings and maybe this one as well go up here because those guys are fleeing and maybe that will 
increase their morale. It's possible, but let's see. Right, and Hongdi maybe have also a gift. Let's quickly check on our blocks. And yeah. Some spies are now appearing. Cover is blown. I'd better hide and quickly. So we must be on the lookout. Um we're way over producing silk on this side. But since we don't really need it somewhere else, we can just uh yeah, just have them wait. Give him some ceramics. I think ceramics is a good gift for the gods, although maybe yeah, we must wait a little bit. Hem. Are there art pushers getting hemp? I think so. Um, yes, hemp coming over, very nice. Our army now growing quite fast because of all of those weapons. And maybe the yes, nomads still being sabotaged. It's safe again. Wrong letter, I know, but it's fine. And let's go try again. Let's have Sun Tzu be happy and then send out another another uh, board. So I think we are going to do five forts and him should be enough, I guess. So let's Yes, yes, yes. We do want lacquer. And I have no idea what this does, so let's just do random and send them out. And I hope the nomads don't come visit us again. Uh, we have so much silk over here, which is good, I guess. So I, we're way overproducing silk, I think. But should be fine, I guess. There's a spy. Let's see what he does. Aye. My cover is blown. Come and you are right next to him. This city is prettier than the most beautiful concubine in China. So strange, so It's been a long dusty These buildings are as solid as Mount Taishan. Actually, we don't really need this inspector, do we? But since we have unemployment still, I think it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. Although I do think our city is looking quite nice. And those guys are still fleeing from something because they got very scared. My cover is fine. I'd better hide and quickly. Um, yeah, that's a little bit awkward because I have no idea. Clear me. I think that's a mistake. And the problem is we don't really have any troops, right? So let's just send out one fort and hope for the best. Because as I've said many times, the worst thing is if we don't um, go help them at all, they, they will become resentful or just don't like you as much whereas if you send a weak force they will just be a little bit disappointed but not really care too much or at least not like you less at least that's what i understand now shu has been conquered and they're loyal and let's immediately also give them a gift of maybe uh, whatever some cash so they also stay loyal. And that means we can now start trading and import, finally, import some lacquer. Um, exports, we don't really need to export anything. So Shu will sell us some lacquer, which we will turn into lacquerware, which then will evolve our houses, which then will help us 
you get 200 people in, what is it, impressive compounds, yes. Very good, there, oh no, that's the, it's not a spy for once, which is good. Our victorious warriors haven't returned yet. This is very slow, actually. So, what else can we do? We still need Sun Tzu, I think we can let him go and actually give some gifts to our ancestors to help them. Um, that's good. Victorious Warriors returns. Did we, yeah, we did get some weapons, not too many, but it's fine. Go home, go home, um, go home. Who else? See, they will just stand in the fort, but the flag is not here, so you actually have to tell them to go home, else they will be uh, demoralized. Did this give us some weapons? A little bit. There's a spy. Hello, sir. Cover is blown. I better hide and quickly. So our military now is very, very strong. We almost have all forts, which is good. We did give away some hemp, which we still have plenty. Shoe, thanks for the cash. So they are committed, which is very good. So they should not give us any more trouble. Lacquerware is coming in, so that means these will all evolve, so we can stick around to watch that. There's some lacquerware here, and this please is the lacquerware. Who please the noble ladies of this neighborhood. Yes. Very nice. So, pretty much... Yes, sure. Let's celebrate. Tribute. Oh, we do not even have space for lacquer. Okay, so let's accept some lacquer here. Just for the gifts, you know. And then we could actually produce some lacquerware and sell it. But it's just such a hassle because the I separated my housing area so well that now it's a little bit annoying. Impressive compounds. Very nice. Thank you very much. So they have... 20 people, 20 people each. So actually we need way more of those houses, I just realized. So let's put them down. So we can have one here and one here. One here, one here, so that's 10. I think 10 should be enough. So let's give them some more desirability. Like this. This will nicely evolve and then as I said if we ever need more people we can increase the wages or we can just uh, yeah, plant some houses down here. If we need more elite housing I just need to move this road or this wall a little bit and then we can place at least one more but I think 10 should be okay. Um, yeah, Lacquer has come in. Plenty of lacquer actually. So we could also now try to get Shi Wang Mu down. What does she like? Does she like lacquer? Not at all. Okay. So, oh, actually she does. So if she's in the city, that will speed up our uh, monument building, which is the final thing we must do because these people here will slowly move in. I think we have... Hello? Okay. You can go hang out here. Don't think it matters where she is, but just for the logic. Now, can we put in one more lacquerware maker? Do we need to? I don't think so. So, because these are already evolving. Come, my daughters. Let us talk of the way in the sequence of immortality. Yes, very nice. And there's a spy. My cover is blown. I'd better hide and quickly. Yes, you do that. So, my cover is blown. Should you? I better hide and quickly. So that will mean probably yes, we can put in more forts, and I think maybe we can use some more cavalry. 
Why not? If we can find some good feng shui for it. Maybe inside here. Good thing is once you uh, have the fort placed, the feng shui around it doesn't really matter anymore. So I can actually put it down and then delete trees without the feng shui changing. So this is still perfect, right? Uh, maybe if I delete some of this, Huan Xian loves me, very nice, I love you too. Um, um, is there any more good feng shui? Or feng shui, pronounced a little bit more properly. Maybe if I shift this, yes, like this, perfect. So we have a couple of, oh, that was infantry. Okay, so we have two horsemen, and then the rest is infantry. I think that should hold off any of, uh, in any invasions coming in. But since this is United China, did you pack everything? These buildings are as solid as Mount Taishan. We should not have too many invasions coming our way. How many people do we have? 170, very good. But this will soon be okay. And then we just need to make sure that now she stays around. Let's give her some silk. They always like precious gifts, right? So let's give her. The most precious gift we have, which is silk. Aye, my cover is blown. I'd better hide and aye, my cover is blown. I'd better hide and quickly. Yeah, now we're just being infested with spies, but you know, even if they do steal some stuff, we have so many resources now that our city is uh, nicely developing. And I must say, I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, but. I just love building those big main cities that are more like a economic mission because that will it's just more enjoyable than how we were struggling before. We can build really nice blocks like this one, which I really do enjoy. And yeah, it's just more fun than constantly struggling. And we will be struggling, of course. Aye. My cover is blown. In later missions. I better hide and quickly. Yeah, also we do not really need this iron. Uh, Year of the Dragon, sure. Let's celebrate. Tributes, we do get some lacquer. I wonder if here we could also maybe produce some lacquer ware, but then we need to cut trees, which. Yeah, it's also annoying, so let's just not bother and try to finish Aye. this mission. Cover is blown. I'd better hide and quickly. I am going to speed up the game a little bit because we are just waiting for this to finish. Thank you for the wood. Um, let's check on some of our stuff. Now the game is running so fast that probably we will not be able to ca catch spice, but that's fine. And actually, maybe we can just speed this up, put down some more carpenters. I did want to put them down, but I forgot, so let's have them work away here and um, let's give her some lacquer it does seem to enjoy lacquer so we can actually just always give away the tribute lacquer we get to her to Shiwamu that is everything else seems reasonably stable or very stable so let's just watch our temple being built there's a spy These buildings are as solid as I my cover is blown. Cotton. I'd better hide and quickly. Let's give some gifts to the ancestors as well. Not that we get cursed. 
also Shannon. Have some ceramics, there we go. And now we just wait for our grand palace to finish. There is a spy. Aye! My cover is blown. I'd better hide and quickly. Gave some lacquer to Shivamu so she sticks around. And actually, I think we do not need those labor camps anymore. Let's go to check. Yes, so we can actually delete those, free up some laborers, and replace them with Mason and Thermist. Uh, yeah, let's not bother. Thermist will be done. Aye. Bye. My cover is blown. I better okay. hide and quickly. Oh, Shivamu left, so let's get her back down. I think she does like lacquerware, so let's give her some. Everything else seems to be stable. We have our 200 people in our impressive compounds. Very good. There is a spy. Aye. My cover is blown. I'd better hide and quickly. And let's just give some more stuff. Have some have some weapons. Because when weapons are stocking up here, that means we have fully developed forts. Which means uh yeah we, we don't really need to save up our weapons anymore, which is great. We could also sell them, but yeah, why let's just we will um build the stairs, I think. There's a spy. Aye. My cover is blown. And hide and quickly. the large palace is complete, so we win the mission. So let's quickly review our city. We have the large palace. Our divine emperor is quite pleased that these magnificent new quarters for him and his family are finally complete. This new palace is a wonderful testament to the devotion of our people to their wise leader. Right, so we are just quickly, because we started it, going to clean this up a little bit and I must make sure that we maybe don't immediately win because we hit all the targets. Have a wall. We finish our wall like this. Put in the gate and then we are going to have a nice road come along this, so grand way, grand way, grand way. Of course it's not perfect, but it will look nice and then later on we can decorate here as we please. So let's quickly review our city before we win. We have a very strong military, nomads still being sabotaged. We are selling lots of stuff and uh, there's a spy here. Aye. My cover is blown. I'd better hide and quickly. We do have 10 impressive compounds, which house our 200 elite housing or elite people. And we have this really nice double block with the incorporated administrative city. So all in all, I'm very pleased how this turned out. And yeah, let's unpause and win this mission. Any second. Oh, this guy still needs to leave. And then we should be winning. Come on. Yeah, he got stuck. But I think it doesn't matter. Let's go. Looks nice with those inspectors walking around. Well done. Xiangyang, the new capital of the Empire of Qin, is off to an auspicious start. In a few years you will probably return here, but for now, Qin Shi Huangdi has a new assignment for you in uncharted territory, far to the south. Right, okay, let's quickly look at the score. Of course, because we have so many strings of cash, we get a big bonus for treasury. And yeah, that was a very nice playing, I think. I'm very pleased how this city looks. I'm very excited also to come back 
So that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.